Tony Revival. There are sinners among us. There are sinners. There are sinners among us. In order to absolve you of your sins, I have brought a Jesus. Give it up for Jesus Trejo, everyone. Jesus. Jesus. We will start with you, my friend. I was good. Yeah. I didn't walk my dog today, but let's absolve him of his sin. Are we going to absolve him, friends? Absolve him. Comics in the back, will we absolve him? Absolve him. Have you been absolved? Who is next among us? Who's next? What about you? What's your sin? Stand up. <laughs> and clear your throat. Drinking, drinking beers. Drinking beers. It's not much of a sin. <laughs> but we will absolve you. Absolve him. Absolve him of his sin. Absolve him. Absolve him, comics. All right, we got one more. What's your sin? I'm Australian. <laughs> That's a big sin. That's a big USA. sin. USA. 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 Are you from the island of thieves, my friend? Admit it to the church. <laughs> this is a church now. Are you? Yes. Okay, you're absolved. Give him an absolve, Mason! I'm so him! You, you in the front. Hey, Zeus, I have a sinner up in the front. He oh, looks very disinterested. Okay. Very disinterested. What is your sin, sir? Schizophrenia. It's my fault. Schizophrenia. It's his, I mean, oh, shit. kind of from, right. from birth. You I mean, can learn it. You can learn it, he said. Really? Yeah. Okay. Did it's you know that? Up. It's fucked up. Oh. Absolve him of his I'm sin! Him. One more. One more. He jerks off too much. How much is too much? I'm not asking. How much? Two times a day. Two times a day. Is that really that much? Because if it's that much, I think worried. we have a few more sinners amongst us. I, I think his sin is not working hard enough. Get your numbers up, buddy. Any more sinners in the back? Oh, Those who thought they were going to be a a young lady, free young from lady. the front. Young, young lady. lady. Yes, please stand. Stand up. All right, that's, that is a sin, yes. Yeah. You are absolved. Has anyone not Australian and has something else to say? <laughs> we'll take literally anything. One more lady, hold on. One, one, more, lady. one more lady, one more lady, wait. I lied to my mom. Oh. She lied to her mom. Wait, what, about what? About partying in Hollywood. Oh, that's... Oh. I think we all kind of do that a bit. I lied to my mom. Absolve her! Absolve her! One more. One more. Uh oh. Wait, who is that in the back there? With the big beard. Hormuz Rashidi. Hormuz Rashidi. He's already sitting with that name. That is a man. I, uh, I killed a bunch of people in Paris a couple weeks ago. Uh, <laughs> you have sinned. You have sinned. You have literally sinned. I don't know if I can absolve you. There is an exit stairwell. To the exit stairwell, homos! And there you shall be absolved of your sins! One more in One the back. One more in the back. What's your sin? Were you just checking your Using phone? Using the phone in the back. Yeah, that's my sin. Addiction to my iPhone. Addiction to her iPhone! She checked her iPhone in a comedy club? Folks, do we check phones in comedy clubs? Comments in the back. Because we respect our art and we're working very hard trying to come up with bits on the spot at some times. And then he said, Absolve her! Absolve! You are absolved! Just don't do it again! Be kind to everyone here! We're working really hard. 
Oh, uh, yes. Henry? Jesus, yes, I, I, yes, you have something to share with the group. One more. Oh, okay, yes, of course. <laughs> uh, yeah, self-abuse. Self-abuse? In what way? What have you done? Well, the masturbation. Oh, masturbation. Are you are you chafing or what? <laughs> That's an old-fashioned term, self-abuse. Oh, old-fashioned term. Use of old-fashioned terms, you are absolved. <laughs> weird, weird more than anything, old-fashioned terms. Tam Fam in the back. What have you done recently? Going to the back. Tam Fam. You didn't give to charity? Why? Just like a buck on the street. It's not a big deal. What charity do you usually give to? Not a little. Give to a charity on your way home. I'm the time of his sins. How are we doing on time, Josh? Two minutes. All right. Absolve him. We have one more observation, and then oh yeah, you absolved. Go down the exit stairwell. Lenny. Last one. Last one. Lenny. All right, you're our closer. Thank you. Good. I spent too much money. Sir, is that true? You were absolved! You were absolved! Everyone absolved! He's absolved! Hey, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, you were gonna say. Oh no, I was gonna say the sin in there is being Jewish. A lot of money, I guess. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. But being Jewish is a sin, yeah. though. Yeah. Oh, no. it's not? I don't feel bad about it. Oh, okay, cool. Alright. Guys, one more time for Jesus Trey. Alright! <laughs> Well, we're gonna do we're gonna do one quick song, guys. It's it's the holiday season. Uh, my name is Avery Pearson, guys. Thank you so much for coming to Kill Tony. Woo! Best goddamn podcast. Uh, we're gonna do a little song here. Santa it says Santa season, right? Everyone knows Santa. Uh, so I just kind of have this feeling that Santa is, you know, how old is he now? Like 376 years old or something. He's been with Miss Claus for a while. Santa's got a Tinder account. He's gonna swipe left, he's gonna swipe right, he's gonna find out who's fucking at night. Everyone, Santa's got a Tinder account. Okay, so you guys join in at that point, okay? He's checking your pics, he's checking them twice, he's gonna find out if the heart button's on and if your booty looks nice. Santa's got a Tinder account. He'll hit you up when you are sleeping. Ask you to get a drink. He knows if you're online or not, cause he's talking your Facebook. Santa's a creep. Santa's got a Tinder account. Oh, you better block him. You better think quick. He's sending a pic of his candy cane dick. And that's what Santa's dick looks like. I mean, talk about the North Pole. It's kind of shaped like a field hockey stick, but it's white and old and wrinkly, and it's got that red ring around it. It's actually more red than white. Santa's got a Tinder account. Last verse, ready? He's really sick of old Mrs. Claus. Cause her vagina looks like a 1920s beat up baseball glove. Come on, Santa's got a Tinder account. Everyone, Santa's got a Tinder. One more time. Santa's got a Tinder. Uh, without further ado, we good, man? good, man? Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Hinchcliffe. Hey, this is Redman, coming to you live from the world famous comedy store for a brand new episode of Kill Tony, Volume 3. Give it up for Tony Hinchcliffe. Everybody. Keep it up for Avery Pearson, everyone. Just on Twitter, Avery is funny. Fuck yeah. Hi, everyone. It's like a real show. Hello to the thousands and thousands watching the live streaming podcast, and hello and hello to the tens and tens packed in this room here tonight. <laughs> Feels good in here. How you doing, live audience? Make some noise for that. Make some noise so that people don't notice. But people don't notice when you drop a $700 microphone yeah. on, that, uh, on its head. You almost can't even tell with the fun energy in this room. Um, fuck yeah. Brian Redman is here, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, guys. And we have an exciting announcement. How about this? Merry Christmas to you, Austin, Texas. Kill Tony is coming December 26th. 
Yeah, we're doing two shows just like we did in Ohio. Uh, we're doing Kill Tony followed by a comedy show. So if you're a local comic, uh, uh, sign up early so you yeah. can get on the show. Yeah, Because uh, sure. we're doing it live again. So. Live from the Spider House Ballroom in Austin, Texas. Yeah. It's Kill Tony and then we do stand-up comedy. Uh, so that's December 26th. So if you live in Austin you're listening to the podcast, now's the best time to buy tickets before it sells out like we did in Pittsburgh and Columbus last weekend. Yeah. That's right, people. The show that you're at right now sells out on the road. And you're at its home field, Yankee Stadium, right here tonight. It's exciting. These are always the most fun ones. This is, like fucking, this is our little jerk-off closet yeah. this room is. Hey, can we make an announcement, guys? Tony Hinchcliffe is back on the meat wagon. He ate meat All right, for his why, first why time. Why are you making this announcement? Because he, not, he has been a vegetarian for five years, and this month, or last week, we went to Foga de Chow, and he ate 22 different kinds of meat. Yeah. And, fun fact, I've had a steak every day since then. I just keep going to Whole Foods and buying a steak, and then I make it. I'm serious. Like, Cyborg, he's it. almost ready. <laughs> I had steak and hash browns today for breakfast, and I did uh, some curls and some presses with my new free weights that I bought. Like a little yoga mat, and uh, can I still be eat meat and have a yoga mat? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, no, life is good. So That's I'm, great. I'm, Do you feel different? Do you feel like you have more energy? Is no, I feel like I've been on like a drug since I started eating red meat again. It's fun. It's yeah. almost like some kind of like weird, I don't know, I feel it. I feel that blood. Yeah? Is there, was there any kind of meat that you've had in the last week that was like, oh shit, no, I really missed that I'm, the most? I'm not kidding. I've just been eating the same steak. I go across the street to Whole Foods and I, and I just keep buying steaks over. I buy them fresh that day. And then I bring it back, cook it like a fucking man. <laughs> you know, going across the street and buying a bag of cauliflower just isn't the same. Uh, something about cooking. I think one of the best things he said to me also was, uh, he's like, I thought in the last few years, vegan food has actually gotten better. And actually, it was that uh, he just forgot how good, every year he just forgot how good steak was a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. Anyway, enough about what I put in my brilliant, brilliant body. Uh, let's keep let's keep this fun train moving along. Right now, our artist, our house artist, is sitting here, and he has a blank sheet of paper, and he has started drawing tonight's episode. At the end, those prints are available uh, online at ryanjubelt.com. Put your hands together for Ryan J. Yeah. House artist draws every episode, and fun fact: rumor has it that since he's from Texas and he's going to be oh. home for Christmas, that he will be in attendance in sure? Austin, yeah. December twenty sixth. Yeah. The Spider House Ballroom. You see how you just keep driving those plugs in until the people listening to the podcast call their friends that they know live in Austin and let them know that a great show's coming. The fuck's up? Ill Vibe in the middle of the room. One of Canada's smartest people and one of the most amazing artists. What's up? Thank you, Rob. Fuck yeah. I never give shout outs to the middle of the room like that, but it's fun <laughs> to see you. Uh, anyway. Let's fucking get this party started, shall we? It's yeah. Kill Tony, and every episode I always have two of the funniest comedians, two of my best pals uh, that are available on the show, and this week is no different. Uh, why, the, why did that get a weird laugh? Because there's a weird asterisk kind of con thing you just said. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because you were like, I, I gave my... All right, all right. <laughs> anyway. Uh, 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 two of my funniest friends, two of the best comedians. <laughs> Put your hands together for Stephen Glickman and Jesus yeah. Trejo, everybody. <laughs> Broken foot, Jesus Trejo. We saw some of your work earlier. Yeah. I love that. Welcome back, guys. Thanks Great for having me earlier, buddy. Yeah. And fuck you, your asterisks, man. I heard that. Yeah, we're well, <laughs> fucking bullshit and asterisks. You guys, the comedians gave this weird double laugh, like that, like it's like. It, well, I couldn't see you, but it, it sounded like you were doing this. The air quotes. Funniest friends. Fuck you, Tony. Well, you know, I'm, like, bunch yeah, of assholes. Flickman, uh, I, I, we've known each other for a long time. Yeah. We worked here and together. And now you're a hit TV star on Nickelodeon's Big Time Rush. I'm like, a celebrity. You guys are on like season no, no. 23 or something no, like that. No, we're not. We're canceled, but that's all right. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah we're done. That, that show's been canceled for like a good two years. <laughs> <laughs> it's, good, it's, good that we're, it's good that we're so close. It's really nice. 
<laughs> but since then, you may have seen me as my uh, closest friends. <laughs> Horse of truth on me, Jesus. I got to play Adam Devine's gay boyfriend on uh, Workaholics on the finale last season. Really? Oh, that's cool. huh. I got to lay with him by the, by shirtless. The, by the look. <laughs> there it is. The party bring, horn. Bring in the sex. Uh, well, it looks like, uh, I, I mean, I figured you were playing the new Odd Job in the Bond movie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, that hat is a weapon. Uh, I'm really trying to pull this hat off. It's not working. It's not. Yeah, you should pull that hat off in a different way. Put it on a hook. I look like I ate Joey Fatone. This is a bad look. Yeah, you look like Joey Calzone. <laughs> Joey Calzone. <laughs> County. It needs like a fake bird on it or something. Yeah. It's a bird. <laughs> Does anyone here have a fake bird? Does anybody have a tiny miniature bird we can just borrow for the show? Laney, do you have one? Looks like you're reaching for something. She might have a fake bird. Do you have She's a fake bird? Her legs. I will put that. That's a bat, Laney. That's a bat. We need a bird. Well, here we are. We're having fun. Two of the funniest guys in the world. You guys have both been on the show before, so it's always fun to have return guests. Uh, so, let's get this party started. All right. Audience, you probably know how it works. If you don't, we talk to stand-up comedians after they do 60 seconds of stage time. Uh, comedians, you know your 60 seconds is up when you hear the sound of a kitty. Oh. Better wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. speakers one of these times. I like bought them. Uh, that's true. Uh, <laughs> that is true. Three of my best friends. <laughs> I love it. Let's get this party started. Audience, are you ready? Jonathan Boyer is the first <laughs> You know what that means. He's dead. That's <laughs> true. He's now dead. Uh, put your hands together for Lindsay Jennings. <laughs> life-changing audition this summer to become a stripper uh, <laughs> so I didn't know there was gonna be an audition I'm pretty sure that's just an LA thing though because you know there's so many beautiful girls here and failed dreams uh, <laughs> I always thought it would be like a last resort thing you know like worst case scenario I'll become a stripper so I didn't get the gig so I'm not sure what that makes me. Uh, I failed at the one job that people who fail at life can get. So I'm a failed failure. <laughs> Feels pretty good. Um, some people say LA is also like a place where it's really easy to be a transgender. I beg to differ. I think that the easiest place to be transgender is probably the Middle East, because all you gotta do is throw a burqa on and you're a woman. <laughs> Just cover up, you know, easy. There you go, 60 seconds of Lindsay Jennings. Fuck yeah. Um, so that's fun. How long have you been in stand-up? Uh, two months. Nice. Is that true that uh, you had to audition to be a stripper? Yeah. Wow. What did you have to do? Uh, you know, you just have to get up there for like five minutes and dance on the fucking stage. Is it just stage. a small room of like the people that work there? No, you? no. It's, it was like super ghetto. And it's crazy too because I got hired to like throw hundreds at girls there recently. I mean, singles, hundreds of singles, but... Wait, that's a job? <laughs> yeah. Wait, how much did you get? I would like to get that job. Yeah, how you did... know, it's fucked up, too, because, Fuck like... Nickelodeon. I'm the making it rainer. Well, they, yeah. yeah, I was making it rainer, because it was, like, for this weed 
company that was having a party there, so it was just like a girl that like had to dress hot and like throw singles on girls. And they gave me like three hundred dollars in singles. I only got paid like a hundred bucks, but I could have pocketed some and I didn't. Yeah, bullshit. But one of my friends strips there. That's why I auditioned there. So I gave them all to her. You know, you wow. used to be that tattoos kept you from acting, fucking stripping too, I guess. <laughs> I know. Wow. No, I I think I just failed. You know. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, get back up there. You know what I mean. <laughs> Just do it on the street. Just do it on the street so yeah. someone gives you a job. That's that's what I say. Oh, Grab yeah. life by the pumps and get back up there, man. Good <laughs> idea. That's interesting. But I get the feeling that you've gotten, like, is it always an audition? For for strip clubs? Yeah. I don't think so. I think, like, in the more, like, rural rural areas, probably not so much. But here, there is a lot of, you know, beautiful girls with failed dreams, so... You know, Hollywood Boulevard, somebody should just bring one of those portable stripper poles and just strip, not get naked, but just strip. You'll probably yeah. make the most tips of it. Oh, absolutely. Maybe You'll dress up like as like Snoopy or something. Like Brian, I, lo I love this idea uh, that you're blatantly pitching for your own entertainment. Yeah. Uh, hey, you know what? I have an idea. Maybe you should set up a pole on my front lawn and uh, just dance there. See what happens. I bet somebody will drive by beep and throw some money out the window. Uh, Come to my practice porch. <laughs> so Lindsay, how do you make your money? What do you do for a living? Uh, right now I work at a weed shop. Nice. So I sell weed. Oh yeah. And you know Instagram. <laughs> we talked about this last time. Yeah. I don't know. If you she know actually anything. started uh, her first set was on a desk squad show in the main room. Uh, oh, I remember. She uh, followed Stevo, and uh, by the way, we have one Wednesday, so it's gonna be great. Hopefully, Burke Kreischer. Nice. That Wednesday here live. Uh-huh. So, wait, uh, do you make a lot of money off Instagram? Is that fun? Sometimes. I mean, like, sometimes I just get free shit and I promote it like I got these pants for free. That's pretty nice. great. Gotcha. Did you get the face tattoo for free? Or was <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> she paid for that. I actually got it for $13, though, but, like, not because... Well, it wow. looks like you got it for $14. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrific it's investment. Like, it was, like, a loop. Because it was Friday the 13th and they do $13 tattoos, and I was like, oh, wait, give me my face tattoo for $13 to my friend. It was only. Like... Sure, yeah. But no. it was kind of. When you want to get a discount, definitely tattoos is the way to go. <laughs> Listen, I know better than anybody about that, all right? No, so. You look great. Is the haircut $13 too? No. <laughs> you know, oh, Jesus. It wasn't that bad, but like the Molly, the cocaine, and the alcohol might have oh, had something to do with What's it. What's your but... favorite tattoo out of all of them? It looks like you have a lot. Uh, probably my Chucky. Whoa! Yeah. That is a real creepy Chucky head. Yeah. Chucky's the one that. Yeah, Chucky's the one. That, Chucky's the one that always fucked me up as a kid. Me too. That's why I have him. Yeah. Tested you could be like the oh, well, suicide case, girl uh, of comedy. Have you ever thought of that? Being, I, I am being, a suicide girl. Is that what it is? Well, then fucking congratulations yeah. on that. What's a That's suicide great. girl? You don't know what that is. <laughs> We get naked on the internet. It'd be cool. It's like, oh. it's like hot girls like her, covered in tattoos, doing uh, doing uh, cool stuff, being cool. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, cool. What's being cool? What's being cool? cool. Maybe, maybe our cools are different. Like, no, you think like, that hat's cool, like, so... <laughs> <laughs> you can come to my practice porch. <laughs> You and me on the practice course. I, I like the idea that you have that Chucky tattoo. So like when you're fucking you, you get to see a dead baby at the same time. That's I like it. Chucky wasn't a yes. dead baby. It was a doll. Wasn't that a dead baby inside the doll? No. That was some creepy grown man inside the doll. No. <laughs> Charles Lee Ray, come on. Red That's man. true. But um, I have a I have a better tattoo for like when people are having sex with me for them to see. Please, what, what see you have? <laughs> uh oh, Freddy Freddy Krueger. No, no. <laughs> slippery when wet. Yes. Oh, Magically no, really delicious. delicious. Hey. Yeah. That was my first tattoo. Wakeman <laughs> <laughs> has that same tattoo above his refrigerator. <laughs> Man, that, that tattoo would suck during a yeast infection. Yeah. Oh, Brian, what did you do? What did you do? That was rude. That reminds me of the first time I got a gynecolo gynecologist exam. And you had a yeast infection, and she said something about that tattoo. Wait, what are you? What are you? The predictor? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't the pussy have, reader. I didn't have the tattoo yet, but like. I like was in pain, so I ended up going to the hospital, and uh, 
Like, I was having sex with my boyfriend. I was, like, 15. And my mom came home. I was, like, in pain, whatever. She brought me to the hospital with my boyfriend. That's when she found out that I was actively having sex. And there was actually this, like, hot dude who was the doctor. And he was like, do you want to have me to do your exam or do you want a woman to do it? And I was like, oh, I'll have a woman do it. And then... One hand or two. But the woman ended up being, like, this crazy redneck dyke. And she was like, oh, looks like a yeast infection. Smells like one, too. Oh, <laughs> Well, now you have another five minutes. That's great. You can that. I thought about that. Took the opportunity to plug that joke in there. You're, you seem like you're coming along really fast for only doing it two months and stuff like that. Uh, how many times a week do you say you get up? I tried to take your advice last time, not move around so much. Uh, I've been minimum getting up once a week. I do a bunch of other shit, but like I try to get up like three times a week at least and just write every day. Yeah, it's great. That's Practice. great. Yeah. I mean, you know, and you know, there's a big uh, difference between how you're talking to us now, and we're all having fun, and sort of like the show that you were putting on before. And if you try to, you know, be more conversational, you're going to come across as even more likable. And when you're likable, you could talk about the, those types of subjects that you're talking about, because a lot of audiences are, you know, tight, weird, judgy. So, yeah, especially this one here tonight. Uh, I'm, like, no, I'm kidding. It's a great crowd. Is that eyebrow tattoo or marker? Uh, I drew it on, but like, like I put the green on, but I have like a neutral color tattooed oh, on because cool. I just have scarce eyebrows. You do? Ah, oh, scarce. Scarce. Oh. Kind of like you. Do you? What the fuck? Wait a second. <laughs> Nobody's ever told me that I have scarce eyebrows before. We all, we all. Back of the room. Can you see his eyebrows? Well, luckily I know a place where I can get four dollar tattoos. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Do you ever uh, change your, you know, look? You know, like sometimes you look a little bit more angrier, or happier. Or, you know, like, I think my emotions come out of my eyebrows when I draw them on. So every now and then, yeah. 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 That's weird. Do you ever get shocked ones tattooed on? Like. like <laughs> I wouldn't get them tattooed on, but I mean, so I might draw them on. I I like to do special effects makeup. Like I was. Do you know Dr. Roxo from Metalocalypse? Yeah. What the fuck? He knows. He's the shit. I do cocaine. Get the I, <laughs> I was in for Halloween, so he has like you know pretty big eyebrows and a giant clown face. Awesome. That was a great story. Yeah, that's not that that's not I another. You a lot. You're a great person. Um, well, Lindsay, it was so nice meeting you. Fuck yeah. For the second time. For the second time, sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah, welcome welcome back to the show, Lindsay. Any any parting words for Lindsay, guys? Stay true to yourself. <laughs> Don't, don't stop believing and uh, get back wait, up there. You know what wait, I mean? yeah. are, are these all Do... journey songs that you're making? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get back up there. Don't stop believing. Uh, <laughs> Lindsay, I had you on last week's show, but you didn't show up. But I, I didn't tell you. You either. didn't tell me. I know. I forgot. But uh, so you want to do this? There's week? an audition for uh, to be on the next show. Yeah. It's coming to my practice porch. On his porch. Are you gonna be there? I will be there. Okay. As long as I'll you're there. I'll be in a bush taking pictures, but it'll be. Easy. We'll fun. get the face tattoo beforehand. You'll see Perfect. The, you'll see the hat sticking out above the bush. Uh, <laughs> that creepy, creepy hat. Uh, Lindsay. Thanks oh wait, for... again, this is fucked up. The comedy rap battle got postponed to this Friday, so now again, I can't do it this Friday because Jesus. comedy rap battle is right. here this Friday. Wow, you're doing rap battles, huh? Yeah. Remember? Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna remember. Lindsay, it was nice meeting you. Have a good night. <laughs> Lindsay Jennings. Lindsay! Lindsay! She's on Twitter, Lindsay Jennings, all one word. Lindsay with a Z. Lindsay Jennings with a Z. She's also on a couple other websites. <clears throat> <laughs> sure she is. Badtattoos.com. Oh. Oh. I didn't know it was still on. She didn't even hear it. It's okay. I didn't hear it. No, she didn't hear it. She didn't hear it. She won't, she won't listen to the podcast. Uh, put your hands together for your next comedian, Sarah Albert Bridge. Albert. What's up? Guys, I recently had my first one-on-one -on -one experience with a lady. I, uh, I met her at a party. She was talking to one of my friends, and she points at me across the room and says, I'm going to go home with that girl. She Babe ruth me. He called his shot. She called her twat. Uh, and it was really flattered. And uh, so I took her home with me. But when it came down to the sex, I wasn't sure when it was supposed to end. 
Because when you have sex with a guy, there's a very clear end point. There's a very clear stopping point where no more fun can be had. At least not without a 30 minute break and some coconut water, am I right? But I wasn't sure if like a quota I got to meet is five orgasms enough, do I have to go for ten? It's like a scoreboard to keep in the back of the bed. Honey, you've had ten orgasms, I've had twelve, let me get down there and give you two more. It's like, it's like I got on her, she goes out on me, we finger, we scissor, we finger, we scissor. I got on her, she goes out on me, down, down, finger, scissor, finger, scissor, down, 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 finger, scissor, scissor, finger, down, 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 finger, scissor, finger, scissor, down, rock, paper, scissor, shoot. Having sex with a girl's exhausting. Oh, wow. That bear comes out of nowhere. Yeah. You look terrified. <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, Sarah, nice to meet you. Welcome. Hello. Yeah, thank you. It's so, uh, what an, I thought when I you first came up, I'm like, wow, what a transition from Lindsay Jennings, you know, this wholesome girl. Uh, I never would have guessed it all would have ended with scissor, scissor, fuck, fuck. <laughs> But there you are. So it literally says on this piece of paper, in town from Chicago. That's right. You write that on everything that you like. Uh, is that like your dinner reservations? Like, Al Britton, uh, in town from Chicago? Um, party of one? I heard it might help out, so I just thought I'd do it. Nice. What do you do in Chicago? Uh, I am a photographer. Oh. So. Boring. I know. Well, I also write new comedy stuff, so, nice. so I'm trying to make my full time. I thing. love that. How long have you been doing stand up for? Uh, I'm coming up on my two years. That's cool. Yeah. What, what are you doing in LA? Uh, I'm checking out. I did Funny Women's Fest LA this last weekend, and then I decided to just stay a week, see what I think about it. Maybe I'll move here. Or there's a whole festival for funny women? Yeah, there's a lot of us. Did you not know that? Really? Don't yeah. feel left out. <laughs> He's eating meat now. Yeah. I should be on it. Yeah. I'll see how you look What's in the dress like and maybe, maybe you can apply. Where does this festival take place at? Iowa West. Oh. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the club? Uh, the, the, the improv club? Oh, in no, Chicago. Iowa West. Iowa West is the one in, in uh, Los oh, Angeles. No, no, on Hollywood, Hollywood Boulevard. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Gee, yeah. stop getting snappy at me. <laughs> Boy, you really have become a lesbian. <laughs> Lesbians hate me. Oh, no, I'm bi. I'm not a lesbian. <laughs> but you recently had your first experience? I did. I did. That was a, a fun little thing. Did, yeah. that, did that jean vest have anything to do with it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what you say. This thing looks fucking good. No, it looks great. It's a lesbian. Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I had, had a threesome before, but I never had just a one-on-one -on -one experience with a lady. So. Um, I told that joke in front of my parents without any warning, actually. And the first thing my dad said afterwards was, I thought you would have done that in college. <laughs> right. Which was kind of fun. And so you say he was on to the assumption that you might be more into women, or what do you think What do you, what do you think he means by that? He probably just thinks that I'm... That I, my parents wouldn't be surprised by anything that I did, basically. Why is that? Because I'm just like that. Like, I'll move. I'll go. I went to Cambodia by myself. You know, I'll go to, like... What was that about? What'd you do there? I just, uh... It's a puss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I don't think I would... <laughs> fuck a lot of Cambodians. <laughs> I just move the oh, I, I don't think I would touch Cambodian puss, but, uh... I... Oh, oh, oh. Where's the racist rooster on that? Racist! Oh, oh. I would not Cambodians touch Cambodians are feelings! <laughs> yeah. We have a lot of Cambodian listeners. Their Wi Fi is banging there right now. I am so offended. Uh, what's what's a terrible yeah, that would, can we get another racist <laughs> rooster for I went to like Indian Africa. <laughs> Africa. <laughs> do, do another Cambodian impression <laughs> there? <laughs> That's East Indian. I like the ginger vest. <laughs> <laughs> so racist. Fuck their shit up. Oh my goodness. Um, so, Sarah, uh, what do you do for work? Uh, I already told you, I, I do photography. No, but what do you really do for yeah. work? Oh, okay, well I do freelance, like, uh, I'll do headshots, I do food photography, I just did a shoot for, like, a commercial agency, like, two weeks ago for, like, uh, Seattle's Best, that kind of stuff. Mm. <laughs> nice. So, mm. freelance. Mm -hmm. you that's stop. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, F stop, yeah, there you go. <laughs> is that your rap name? Your F stop? Like, no, is that what you do? Just a couple photographers in the house. <laughs> 
what other, what other types of things do you talk about when you do stand-up? Um, well, I actually, I have narcolepsy, so I talk about that a lot. Oh, really? Sleeping disorder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. It's where you fall asleep randomly, that kind of thing. Ron Jeremy, How often does that happen? Um, <laughs> well, I mean, I fall, like, I usually take at least a couple naps a day, but like the falling down thing that they make fun of in movies, that probably happens like once a month, maybe. Oh, but, that has to be so funny. <laughs> it is actually kind of. Um, uh, yeah, it's a it's a blast. I mean, it's a, it's a blast. It's like it's funny. It's funny when people haven't seen it happen before and they like freak out. Do you feel it coming enough that you can like like get yourself ready, or is it kind of like you have to wear helmets on sometimes? Or? No, I fall in a way that my body doesn't hurt myself, uh, thankfully. And then people that know me really well like could catch me. Like my ex boyfriend, he used to actually catch me, but sometimes he'd miss, and I wonder if he did that on purpose. Are you allowed to drive? Uh. Yeah, actually. Wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, guess who I'm never moving? I'm a seamless. Uh, they only ask you if you've had a seizure, so yeah. So you, uh, like you lie to them. She would be great for group building exercises. Catch me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Think, man. How long does, are you usually out for? Like, when you uh, just like, like, like a couple seconds to a minute or something like that. Wow. <laughs> Really? Yeah, yeah. It's 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 like it sounds weird. It's not that big of a deal. Now, if it happens during sex. I was just gonna oh, ask. okay. Yeah. What well, people often ask me, like, if it happens. I, every, I mean, of if course, everybody everybody's narcoleptic when they're fucking women. <laughs> <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> to get out of sex, you know, just to pretend, but uh, but I don't fall asleep any more than a normal girl during sex, you know? <laughs> uh, uh, interesting. That's cool. yeah. So, the, this lesbian experience, have you only been with one other woman? Uh, well, I've been with two. I was with, with one and a threesome, like, a couple years ago, and then I was with the this more recent girl. Which one tasted better? Uh, <laughs> Brian! The more, <laughs> what the fuck, the, man? <laughs> Uh, probably the more recent girl, I guess. The more yeah. Technology and shampoo and stuff. <laughs> oh, okay. We're the same words. She ate a lot of pineapples that day. Uh, that's all I can say. Does that really help something? Actually, it does. Yeah, I know some girls that take pineapple pills just so that their stuff tastes yeah. prettier. Mm -hmm. Wow. Learning girls. stuff. <laughs> wow. That's like, is that, are, are they all lesbians that do that? No, is no, they're straight. Of? I mean, oh. and when I when I when I have a date and I and I want to hook up, I end up eating a lot of pineapple that day. Why the fuck not? You know. Pop in your pineapple cup. Yeah. Oh, if, if you take a lot of zinc before sex, for a guy, it's a frothier load. Just oh, like Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm not sure if I've ever wanted to have a frothier load. You know, yeah. that's, a, that's a weird request. Trust me, after a while, just eating pussy all day gets boring. It's <laughs> awesome to mix it up once in a while. Get a nice frothy load. Yeah. So, Santa Claus. so you're bi, but do you see yourself like, so what? Do, how do you feel about, like, where do you think you're going to end up? Do you think you're ever going to get married? Like, where, you, would you, would you, are you 51, 49, a certain direction? No, I mean, I think I typically tend to date guys, you know, like that's just, but you know, girls are fun once in a while, mix it up, I don't know. Like, I'm pretty laid back, pretty open, you know, it's a yeah. person I fall in love with, not the, the sex. Well, but, you'll do great in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> sure but, it's going to work out. Yeah. Well, Sarah, thanks for coming on the show. It's yeah. nice to meet awesome. you. Awesome. We're going to go back to Chicago. I go back on Wednesday, um, but I hope to visit back and maybe move here in like a year or so. Oh, there you go. Nice. Sarah Albritton, everybody. Great job. She's on Twitter at underscore Sarah Albritton. A-L-B-R-I-T-T-O-N. All one word. Sarah Albritton. This is fun. Cobble, cobble. How about Dave Labonte? Mad and buy it, please. You make it, fix it, crash it, change it, now upgrade it, chart it, buy it, zoom it, fix it, fix it, work it, click it, do it. Dave Labonte? 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 Somebody just fell out of a chair up there, right? How about that? The real? Wow, she just fell asleep. Come on, right here. She's trying to do with the beat. Guys, get your fingers, fingers out of her. <laughs> Holy shit! All right, I pulled another name out of the bucket. How about Peter Garcia? Peter Garcia! So being pregnant is kind of weird. Not that I'm pregnant. But um, 
It's kind of freaked me out, the fact that I'm going to get my lady pregnant one of these days. I mean, it's just weird, you know? I heard that girls uh, start lactating before they give birth, which is cool. I mean, I guess you could have sex and get hydrated at the same time. But, I mean, like, there's also a, a, a human growing inside of them. I also, like, heard that they get sexually, like, active more than they usually are. And I don't think I'm up for the challenge. Um, mainly because I don't want that to be my first threesome. So I don't want my son coming up to me one of these days when we're having like a beer when he's older. He's just like, so what's the craziest like sexual experience you've had, Dad? Why don't you tell me you were there? <laughs> it's kind of weird. One of the most things that freaked me out though is like the, 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 the birth. I don't want to see the crowning. Like I don't want to see any of that. I mean, that's just, it's gross. Like I eat there. Like I don't want to, <laughs> like, I don't want to see that. It's not. Uh, yeah. Is that normally where that ends? Uh, well, I mean, I've got a lot more. A I mean, lot more? <laughs> oh yeah. I have, uh, well, there's a. That's like the middle part of the of what I talk about. Yeah. A lot of that sounded like a confession. Yeah. It is. <laughs> it's fucking scary. Well, good for you. <laughs> what are you? What am I? Yeah. Man. What, what, what's, your, what, what's your nationality? Uh, Mexican. Mexican. All the way Mexican? Yeah, dude, I got that Aztec blood in me. Gotcha. How long have you been doing comedy? This is my tenth time on stage. Yeah, I've been like on and off. You used to do one thing I used to do a lot when I started out, where you were like, here, you're so nervous, you just end up with all the cool Oh, yeah. Can I get more corn, please? But I used to do that a lot. You know? Yeah, it, it's habit because uh, I'm in a band too. So when I'm, I have the mic, I like wrap it around my. Oh, uh, you should like, like you'd this. be like the lead singer. <laughs> <laughs> He's, He's in a boy band or no? No, it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a man band for it. It's a man's no, it's a it's a, it's a, it's a metal band. Yeah. It's a metal band. Yeah. I, well, fuck yeah, dude. Can you give, can you give us uh, one of the lyrics like how you would sing it? <laughs> Second and third song. Don't overthink it, just <laughs> let it rip. Yeah, I never say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, need, you need to do that in your act. Yeah. You have to fucking put that in your I've, act. I've been writing it, it's just, I. sometimes I feel like it's not gonna be good, so I'm just like, I don't know. How do you write? <laughs> <laughs> R A W W W W W W. It's, it's the whole story around it, though. You build up the whole story, and then when you, like you just did to us, when we finally hear it, there's a payoff there, especially if you have a good story backing it up at first. 100%. Perfect. Like the, a threesome joke, I, I, it, I, it's funny, but I've heard it a thousand times before. Oh. That's like old hacky shit. But, but, like, shit, like. <laughs> But that shit, like that, that right there, no one's got that, you know. So really build How on. How long your, you been singing in uh, in this band? Oh, for a while. For a long time. Yeah. Uh, What's the name of the band? So Son of Man. <laughs> Son of Man. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one of the things that I love about that kind of music is that you can't understand uh, what what you're saying. Like, what did you just say? Like I I've, I've never had, and I just said that. <laughs> like, <that. laughs> yeah. like, how did you know that that was your thing? Like, did you just start growling one day? And, uh... Well, I I started off playing the drums in bands like that, and then eventually I got tired of playing the drums. I'm like, I'm just gonna try and scream, and then I just went on online and on YouTube. Like, it just kind of it's easier than singing. It's just oh yeah, uh, definitely. It's, it's a, yeah. <laughs> um, there's, there's no question about that. <laughs> Singing is like a whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> Which I can do also. Really? But you, know, but you yeah. know, like, figuring out how, what funny things you can say in that voice is there's a lot of comedy there. Are there parts, because you just said you could sing, are there parts with this band where sometimes you bust out into like a. Yeah. 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 Like really? Can yeah. you give us like an example of that and then go back into the switchover? <laughs> oh my god. Um, um, let me see. Um, do the same shit you okay. did. <laughs> no. So it, it go. No, do the good stuff first. <laughs> it goes like, it's not the violence that keeps me awake at night. <laughs> and then you just keep on screaming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> 
We <laughs> like you so much more, man. Yeah. A lot more than we ever get. That's so fucking funny. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun, later. though. I mean, it, it's, I, it's not that the music is good. It's just it's fun seeing people in the pit just hitting each other in the face. Right, that's crazy. <laughs> that is something that happens with that kind of music. It's How like, young were you when you started doing that? <laughs> oh, I was like 15, 16. Yeah, it starts young, right? Wow. Yeah. And then all your buddies at school come out and see you. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a, well, why no? Did you have a lot of friends or? I, I, had, I had a few. I, yeah. still, I mean, I still have the same friends I had in elementary school. Has anybody so. ever told you that you look like you were created in a video game creative player before? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. Yeah, well, I'm sure they told you. You look like what my character in Grand Theft Auto looks like. <laughs> That's PlayStation 1 Tony Hawk character right there. <laughs> Thank you. That's <laughs> phenomenal. How do you make your money? Uh, I do landscaping and I... There it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I'm an intern for all things comedy. I do like to run their audio and stuff. You, you should talk about your day job. I do. I actually did it the first time here and then Hinchcliffe told me, he's like, you're your own audience. Because <laughs> I was laughing after every joke I was saying. Because I was just super nervous. It's understandable. Yeah. Yeah. What was that, like your second or third time on stage or what? That was like my seventh time. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So that's good. That's, yeah. got, at that's that point, something. somebody's got to tell you, can't laugh at all your own jokes. Yeah. <laughs> and the only reason I knew that you were even laughing at them was because they weren't laughing. So I, oh. I could clearly hear you laughing. <laughs> <laughs> every once in a while is okay. Every yeah. once in a while. Do you think it's okay every once in a while to laugh like, at your own jokes on stage? Uh, Sometimes I laugh I, at myself. I do it if I improvise sure. something that's fucking super brilliant or if, or if I'm amazed at how hard an audience laughed at something. Which I'll, is all I'll the time. At, uh, yeah, well, all the yeah. time. Yeah. You know what I see comics do a lot is they, they go, they go, they go, all right, guys, I'm going to do this impression, okay? Here's an impression I'm going to do. It's like those comics who do impressions. They go, I'm going to do this impression, guys. You want to see this impression? And then everybody holds. Everyone, like, waits for it. And then they go, okay, <laughs> don't make me laugh. Hang on. They do that. Like Kevin Hart? They, like, they, they try to make, they try to get you to be like, whoa, whoa something funny's about to happen. Yeah, and they do yeah, that Jimmy, terrible Jimmy Fallon has a whole career on he that. He has a whole career. Yeah. Yeah. That was cute the first or second time on Saturday Night Live, but now that whole like, oh, I'm laughing at my own thing. Oh, oh God, uh, forever. Uh, we have to deal with that forever. Yeah, I know. He's so young, he's gonna be on that show forever. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking forever. He's in good health too. It's not like he's gonna have a heart attack. Eating too many donuts, you know, like me or something. You know. Oh, Brian, that's too yeah. much. I just killed. Him. That literally <laughs> just killed Brian. me. Jesus. Oh. Terrible. <laughs> Peter, what do you do for fun? Oh, uh, well, I'm a man and I, I train. And, you get uh, a lot of girls in this band? Are you one of those guys? Oh, no. no. I love you keep mentioning being in a band and somebody's vapor pen keeps coming up and the smoke is made like what you're, we're about to get another guitar set. <laughs> What else? I mean, do you, is that a big? Uh, do you get a lot of chicks in the death metal game? Because it seems like a real a lot of dudes. <laughs> no, I mean, we're we're not a big band, so it's not like people really know who we are. <laughs> I love that you're cracking up and how terrible your own band is. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's ever gonna know about us. <laughs> oh my god, no way. <laughs> What's like the biggest gig that you guys have had? We've only played a couple of shows. This this band that I'm in right now is fairly new. Is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. What's uh, what are some names of some other bands that you've been in? That this I've one's been? called what is it? Son of Man. Son of Man. <laughs> this just sounds terrible. <laughs> oh, I've been in this other band called Paradigm. I mean. Oh, that sounds like that sounds cool. Fifteen different bands. Yeah. Names. What's another band name? Oh man, I just. None of them come to mind right now. They, they're all horrible band names. Come on, what do you mean none of them come to it? I was in one called Legacy. That was probably the coolest name. I'll give you the cool ones, I don't want to give you the shitty ones. Give us the shitty ones, what are you talking about? There was one called uh, At the Edge of Eternity. That, that, was, that, was, that, was, my, that was my first band. That was like deep sometimes. Yeah. See, that, that has to be a part of your story. You know? <laughs> hey, 
children. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing. Like I, I love that. I don't get a lot of pussy. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> oh. All right, Peter. It was nice to meet you. There he goes, Peter. 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 This is Peter the Comic. How about... Ooh... For love? For love? dating right now girls uh you know with disabilities are kind of hot guys like that kind of thing i just got out the wheelchair woo -woo! Yeah. i uh, tried tinder and all that stuff swipe to the white now, right now i'm on a disabled i should white yeah i did that i went back uh disabledpassions.com anybody know about that dp right right <laughs> about you know they all about all kinds of stuff up in there but uh the one thing was like uh you went to conolingus I'm like what he's like meals on wheels i was like yeah man i can get with that uh, yo so yeah being disabled i don't have to go to work in the morning so i'm always partying you know what i mean <laughs> hey make the most of it but the thing is, they're trying to like, when you go to these parties, they're asking you to get like brain stuff, you know, like, oh, can you bring something to share? I'm like, no, I'm broke, I'm disabled. So I was walking in to my bathroom and everything and I decided to bring what everybody needs to a party. I'm not lying, I did this. I rolled up in the party with some TP, toilet paper, <laughs> right? Ah! The women loved it. They was like, see, bring her back. <laughs> What is that noise? What is, what is that noise that you keep making? Ambulance. Noise? Garbage truck? What is that? All right. Fela, first of all, I want to apologize for uh, Glickman. I'm very sorry. I apologize. I apologize he, greatly. He thought you were going too slow. He didn't realize that you were handicapped. I'm very sorry. Disabled. <laughs> Uh, Fela, that's amazing. Congratulations for getting out of the wheelchair. Yeah, uh, yeah. Do you mind us asking what the ailment is? Uh, yeah, it's transverse myelitis. Whoa, that's hot. <laughs> yeah, I have transverse myelitis. Have you had it your whole life, or what is it? What is no, it's like? actually brand new. It's something like I am a head case, I'm a nut case. I uh, basically made my own self paralyzed, got really depressed, and uh, and uh, inflamed my spine because I have a hard time letting my emotions out. So I let it build. Wow. And Whoa. yeah, inflamed my spine and was paralyzed from the waist That's down. Insane. I am um, wearing diapers and everything. It was great. Oh. Holy shit. Is it fixable? Like, can you, like, uh. Yeah, and you can Google this. I am a walking miracle. So now my new scam is let me heal you. Uh, <laughs> you've heard of John of God? Come to Felicia of God. I, I'll lay hands on you right now. <laughs> See, I am a walking miracle. You can do one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have the Moses staff, so I mean, oh, yeah, you know, exactly. You I love that. Yes, we can. I love it. Are you gonna get a uh, uh, for the holiday season? Maybe a little big candy cane? Have you thought about oh, this yet? Yeah. You in the cane game? Oh. <laughs> you know what? That's that's something I might try to roll with. You Maybe know? like it's you like, know, like a peppermint like, stick. Or uh, you know, what's his name? Candy cane from the you know the rapper. Big Daddy Kane? Yeah, yeah sure. Be Big Faye Love Kane? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I'm from Detroit, be pimping like that, throw my hat to the side. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. <laughs> how, long, how long have you been in Los Angeles? Too long. I'm tainted, man. I was like, oh, this is great comedy, y'all come out and check it out. And then when you called my name, I was like, what? I'm also hearing impaired, because I was like, damn, did he just say my name? I was all shocked. Yeah. 
You signed up, right? I did sign up. Fay Love. Uh, how long have you been? How long? That's the name you call it, right? Wait, I'm sorry. So you you are sort of hearing impaired. That's a thing. That's that's how you feel. Well, that's 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 that hair. Little... She's got the predator yeah. thing on. Harry, 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 Harry. Uh, yeah. No, I'm not hearing impaired. I should not make fun of that. But I'm trying to get as many checks as I possibly can. So. <laughs> I like you more. I like you. Uh, you're adorable. Um, yeah. You are. You're really cute. Do you have a boyfriend? Um, I'm gonna leave that open. Wow, you can't break up with him because you hold it all in, still, to this day. <laughs> Interesting. You figured me out! Oh my god! <laughs> uh, what do you like to do for fun? Oh, wow. Well, yeah, um, I lost that whole thing about fun a long time ago. So, um, are you ticklish? I, I'm into, I am into fairies. The one who said that earlier. Uh, Did you yeah. say fairies? Fairies. No. Furries. Oh, furries. Furries. Oh. furries. oh, the ladies. No. <laughs> That's funny. What's furry? That's where you dress what up as like an animal, like a puffy stuff. No, I'm right? into yeah. stuffed animals. Yeah. Animal men. Stuffed animal men. Are you serious? But my dad's here, so I never told my dad about that. Oh, we always oh. wondered. Bill Cosby over there, let's give it up for Bill Cosby. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. What's up, Dad? Yeah, that's awesome. I love that. J-E-L-O-O. <laughs> <laughs> Are you really from Detroit? Yes, I am. Oh, that's awesome. Have you been back for a while, or have you just... Oh, okay. So last time I went back, um, yeah, I went back and there was a fire downtown, like just... There's always a fire downtown. Exactly. There's like five buildings on I fire I know, but time. this was a car this time. It was a car, lay like, scam, you know, it's insurance. They were setting the car on fire to make some money. Was, nice. But yeah, from Detroit, uh, Wayne County. Joy Ooh. Road and Evergreen, anybody from Detroit in the house? Shut out. Point blank. <laughs> it's not going to work. Uh, <laughs> congrats on getting out. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Have you ever been to Detroit? Your, does your dad live here in Los Angeles? No, he's visiting right now. Oh, I love that. He's visiting from Detroit. Look at yeah, this guy. He loves this likeable man. man. Pretty sure he just got cast as the dad on the Carmichael show right now. <laughs> just, from the, just from that lovely wave. Hey, you have a great wave, sir. You have, you have, Good smile. Can, can we get this guy on, on, a, on a parade float ASAP right now? Look <laughs> at that wave. That is a majestic wave. <laughs> Oh my god, that noise goes perfectly with that What are you doing for a living, sir? I'm a real estate agent and property manager. Real estate agent. Oh my agent god, property. are you also In Cleveland Detroit. from the family <laughs> 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 Oh <laughs> This wave is majestic. For those of you that aren't squeezing in to get a spot where you can physically see it. I feel bad for you. Man, uh, property and, and, By the way, if you haven't noticed, he waves after every answer he gives. It's, a very, <laughs> it's a very, very right, impressive. I'm still in my thunder right now. Buddy. No, it's cool. You gotta let it happen. You gotta roll with it. it. It's family. It's family love. I've, I've thought about buying property in Detroit. I was back in, in Ohio. Me and uh, Tony were back in Ohio last week, and it's, it's so cheap. There's like $2,000 houses that, that are actually <laughs> decent looking. It's cheaper than that, man. Yeah. The bank puts a roof on your house, and they'll sell it to you for $500. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, a new yeah. roof on your house. Yeah, $500, you can own a house in Detroit. <laughs> with a new roof. With a new roof. What's, uh, yeah, but, then, but then you have to live in Detroit. And it comes with a nice neighborhood bomb. <laughs> but, if, yeah. but if we all go together... <laughs> If we all go together, there's the way. Dad, what's your name? Lewis. 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 You look like a Lewis. I like your style. Were you ever a postman at some point? <laughs> no. What'd you do before real estate? Worked for Ford. Whoa. Ooh. Ford McFerrin. <laughs> oh, the fist on that one. Ford gets the real time. Ford time. I love it. How long have you two been uh, father and daughter? <laughs> oh, there's the wave. That wave. It's it's I taught him well. This wave is out of control. Uh, do you have your dad's? <laughs> do you have your dad's wave or your mom's wave? Let's see it. Whoa, whoa, very rugged, Fayla. I think rugged. I. I'm... Uh, Whoa, whoa, glimpses of Peter Garcia back in the track. I'm working on that wave, I don't have that wave. No. I don't like your wave. Uh, uh, 
Uh, Ayla, would you mind if uh, your dad joined you next to the microphone? For would a you mind getting off the stage and let your dad take over? Yeah. 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 I love this. I'm creating an argument, an internal argument right now. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. A, it's gonna be a long. Oh yes, look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, boom. You know him as the bus driver from every movie you've ever seen. Hey, Tony. Tony. Tell Lewis if you can tell a joke. Tell a joke, Lewis. Tell a joke, Lewis. Who wants to hear a joke from Lewis, everybody? Tell a joke. Anything. Knock, knock, joke, whatever. Okay, well, I have a good friend of mine. The good friend of mine met a girl that he loved. You know, the type of head over heels type love, you know, good communication. Best thing that ever happened to him. Best thing that ever happened to him. Best thing that ever happened to her. And they were so joined together, they decided that they were going to just get hitched. They were going to join and get married, except... One of the friends, one of my, my friend's friends came up to him and said, you know, man, you better not marry that woman. <laughs> so he was pretty uh, um, out yeah. of himself, you know, he's wondering what's going on. He's like head over heels over this girl. This girl is just fine and everything, and his best friend tells him not to marry her. So he goes on and continues, and then here comes another one of his friends and said, hey, man, it's good for you to be here, everything's going good, he said, but I'll tell you, don't marry that woman. So he's heard Beats this twice, you know, he's twice, and here comes a third person, you know, a good friend of his, he said, hey, man, I know you're getting along very, very well with this woman and everything, but I'm going to warn you, don't marry that woman. So he decides that this must be the best thing that ever happened to him. So he married that woman, and that woman caused the biggest headache that he ever experienced in his life. No. <laughs> she was his worst nightmare. She took the newspaper and cut out the Target logo and put it on his back. And then drew an arrow back there and says, you know, if you ever leave me, this is what's going to happen to you. And she did that when she played the song, you know, smiling in your face, backstabbers, you know. She just, you know, if you ever do, if you ever mess up on me, I'm going to just pull this arrow back and that's it. That's it. That's it. He all, and then he wondered what happened. Now, this is his new wife. He just got married. And he wondered what's happening, what's going on, what happened to this beautiful dream that he had. And now it's all of a sudden turning completely the other way. So he wondered what was happening when she says, I do, I only go out at night. And he says, well, what do you mean I only go out at night? He says, I only go out at night. I have to be back during the day. And so he said, well, I don't know what's going on. What's happening? I don't know, what, I don't know what's happening with this woman. She only goes out at night and has to be back during the day. And so all of a sudden, here comes the daylight, and all of a sudden, she doesn't get up out of the bed. All of a sudden, her uh, hair starts growing, and she starts howling at the moon. And he says, oh, my friends were right. My friends were correct. Oh, I made such a terrible mistake. Oh, I, I don't know what to do about this person. That was my good friend. Yeah. Hey. Hey. You got a standing ovation. Look at that wave. Standing ovation. Holy shit. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Lewis. Can I tell you something? Was he in that guy's band at the end of eternity? God damn. Holy shit. Well, I gotta tell you something real quick. I gotta tell you something real quick. I was kind of practicing just in just Oh, you practice that? You practice that story? Just in case. It was a good job. That was amazing. This was not planned. I was Perfect. right down the street. I had a very nice dinner. I was enjoying the football game. Of course you did. The football game was fine. I decided to just walk up and uh, just come on in. And, and, uh, I told him he was a comedian. <laughs> but I just wanted to know. Hey! It's about to get party time in here. 
I just wanted you to know that uh, because I stayed the length of time that I stayed and enjoyed the football game, the waitress cut my bill. And so my meal was free, and I just paid for the rent. Wow, I'm pretty sure you dined and ditched. Uh, Actually, we dined and ditched. I love my dad. There he goes, Louis Love. Yeah! Say hello. Say hello. Oh, no. Thank you guys. Thank it was the first time I've had people. That was great. Well, great job. An improvised father daughter performance. That's the kind of shit that can happen in Kel Tony. I wish that guy was my dad. He has the smoothest, nicest voice I've ever heard out of anybody in my entire life. Yes. I was just down the street. I had a nice dinner. I like it that you eat meat now, Tony. Whoa! Yes! Stephen Brody Stevens, ladies and gentlemen, he's here. into a live podcast. No, I'm FaceTiming with my mother. Oh, really? Come on. Yes! <laughs> Brody, welcome back to the oh, show. It's great to be back here at Kill Tony. Thank you, guys. I'm having a wonderful day. It's, it's beautiful out. I love this. Uh, <laughs> so what is this battery that's running? Are you, are you charging your phone right now? <laughs> are you are you? No. I think it's every time it gets tipped, it vibrates. My phone is charging the battery through me. All right, so you don't laugh at that. <laughs> to spin the wheel. <laughs> I'll go to Television City on Beverly and Fairfax and spin that wheel. It's on the second floor. Uh, Josh. It is. It's, you take an ele elevator up at CBS Television City. After you drop that uh, other mic, what'd you do with that? Is it still over there? I can grab it. Oh, we do? Uh, Brody, you want to hang out? Maybe, uh, maybe, yeah. maybe sit over there with sure. the, with those people. Yeah, I'll sit wherever you guys yeah, want. Yeah, Brody Stevens. I'll do whatever you guys want me to do. Brody Stevens, ladies and gentlemen. Brody, hey, hey, hey. I'm a nice guy. I talk to special needs adults on an outdoor patio. He was drooling. He said I looked like I knew how to do algebra. I connected with him. <laughs> Say something. See something. Thank you very much. Where would you like? <laughs> Thank you, Tony. Where do you want me to sit? Uh, let's, uh, Josh, can we grab him a stool or something? Or where does that? Josh Martin, everybody, is somewhere. Oh, now you're turning on me! Josh Martin, everybody, 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 everybody. No, just, uh, just sit it, uh, sit it over there. You want me to shut the door? <laughs> Yeah, uh, put the chair on the other side, sit down, and, uh... Oh, man, stop that! You don't do that to me! I'm FaceTiming! <laughs> You're not really fa That's Periscope, Brody. Grab that microphone that's down there by your feet. Okay, I'll oh, sit right over not, here. Where is it? It's not there. Where's Josh Martin at? It's not plugged in, but you know what? I have a mic in my car that can adapt to that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brody, just relax. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna get back to the show now. Brody, you wanna watch somebody do 60 seconds and then we'll all talk to him? I'd love to watch. Here we go, it's Kill Tony with Stephen Brody Stevens, Jesus Trejo, <laughs> and Stephen Gleckman. I pulled another name out of the bucket and that name is Sarah June. Hello everybody, uh, my name is Sarah. 
sounds a lot like sorry if you're not paying a lot of attention. So pretty often when I introduce myself to people, uh, they'll say, hi, I'm Jocelyn or whatever, and I'll go, hi, I'm Sarah, and they'll go, oh, it's okay. <laughs> I stopped correcting them because I realized at this point I just need the reassurance more than I need them to know my name. I uh, like my coffee like I like my men, weak. <laughs> I'm at the back of an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting. <laughs> Where it's free! Uh, I will say uh, uh, I was the one who had the joke about furries that Faye Love uh, mentioned before, and this is, this is the feeling I have about furries, is um, I'm, I'm pretty sex positive, fine with a lot of stuff, not okay with furries, I feel like it's animal blackface. <laughs> And, uh, I don't know, that's a minute, isn't it? Yep, 57 <laughs> seconds. Oh, Sorry, yes. too, everybody. Yes. Welcome to the show, so This is your so first much. time, right? It is, yeah. Uh, are you live here in L.A.? No, I'm visiting from Austin, actually. Oh, nice. Yeah. You're going to be uh, there December 26th? Yes, indeed, I am. Ooh. Ooh. There you go. Yeah. Um, how's Austin? How long have you lived there? About five years. Where were you from before that? I'm from the Bay Area. Ooh. Oh. I'm from the peninsula, you can calm down. It's, yeah. It's nice. it's down. What, what made you go to Austin? Uh, I could not afford to live in California by myself, so I moved to Austin. Really, no real reason. Uh, but yeah, I like it a lot. It's a fun place to live. Do you like, uh, do you like uh, the guys there? Have you been dating them? Or like, have, have you got <laughs> wow, What is this question? Fucking, uh, I mean, there's uh, yeah. a difference between the guys, you know, and... and is there? Oh yeah, have you, how many times have you been beat up since you've been there? <laughs> How many, how many uh, uh, handlebar mustaches do you see on a day, daily basis? Six. Only Lindsay when I look Jennings. In the, only when I look uh, in the mirror. Uh, 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 no, I like your whole look. You've got that uh, like, yeah, a, Hasidic Jewish hipster. Yeah. Thing. It's great. Kind it's, of a little it's bol sexy. It's like Bolshevik Daria. Daria. Yeah, Bolshevik like yeah, Daria. <laughs> Daria. That's fucking great. Thank That's you. That's really good. Love your work on Bob's Burgers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how long are you in LA for? Uh, I leave on Wednesday morning. I've been here about five days. You have a lot of stuff in your backpack? Do you need I do. I didn't want to leave it with a bunch of stranger comics. Right. Sorry guys, I don't know you, um, but <laughs> my laptop's in here and stuff, so that's why I'm wearing my backpack on stage like a fucking European tourist. <laughs> I did not feel good about that choice, but here it is. Smart as hell. Thank that's you. Smart as hell. What do you do for work? Uh, I am unemployed! <laughs> You love it. I, yeah. What's the last job you had? When was that? Uh, I worked for Instacart, that grocery app where people shop for your groceries. <laughs> yeah. That was me. I shopped for your groceries. And then I got fired, so. Ooh, why'd yeah. you get fired? Um, <laughs> not showing up apparently is a thing you can get fired for. Uh, where were you? Hanover? Huh? Hanover? Why didn't you show up? Uh... Yeah, I just uh, didn't feel like didn't feel like moving. You know, I don't know. It uh, it was a shitty like the scheduling was weird, and then I'd be like, I have to do comedy, and but I don't get paid for comedy, so that was dumb. Right. That'd be awkward because then you're shopping for someone's groceries and you get hungry and you're like, oh, I need this food. I'm not going. Yeah, I stole a lot of stuff from the grocery store yeah. uh, while I was there. I would do the same thing. Yeah. You're there all day. They stop paying attention. Uh, to you. I get the feeling they would not hire you at Instacart. Like, no. Uh, <laughs> Wait a second. Where's all my food? Yeah. <laughs> Two boxes of toaster strudels. Yeah. Uh, well, Someone's got to collect yeah, carts in the parking lot of an online grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> One guy, I'll do it. Fuck it. That bombed. Uh, um, I, like so, it. I think we're all talking about thinking about toaster strudel icing right now. <laughs> Sarah, uh, yeah. uh, and I noticed that your name is spelled like it's Sarah. Yeah. So you must get Sarah all the time, and mm -hmm. you have to correct everybody, right? Yes, yeah, so I, I kind of am over it now. I don't really correct people unless I really give a shit. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Are you? You're about to. You want to know what my ethnicity is? I can see it. Yeah. It's on your face. Yeah. Oh, I'm. There we go. Mm -hmm. Who? What? Say it. Say it. Persian. Persian. That's it. <laughs> Someone in the audience. Knew I was Persian. All the way Persian. Right? All the way Persian, 100%. Interesting. So that's what, like, Iranian? Yeah. Oh. What are your parents like? They're Iranian. <laughs> I see that. You just did yeah. the Sarah Sara thing with my Oh, Iranian. I didn't mean to really do that, but no, I meant, I was just giving you a tautology. But, uh, you know, yeah. So they're, they, uh, they're, like, tough? 
Yeah, they're, uh, they're a little nuts, but uh, they mean very well, so I try not to talk about them on stage. Right, or on podcasts, huh? Uh, yeah, I mean, they don't, I, that's, you know, June's not my real name, so. Uh, have you, oh. Do you ever sing in a death metal band or anything like that? Uh, uh, it's like, it looks like an interesting hobby that you have. Um, probably, I don't know, I just do a lot of comedy. I like, I make videos and shit, uh, I like to sew, that's like really lame, so oh, we do not need to talk so about it. it. <laughs> How many hours a day do you spend at a coffee shop? Like two? Uh, three, four? <laughs> today, three, yeah. yeah. Today, three. I don't drink coffee, I'm like the asshole that orders tea. You ever, uh, I'm the worst, that's one thing, it's an interesting hobby of mine, is being the fucking worst. Ah, <laughs> I love that. I know I'm the worst. That's so Persian. I'm the one at the bar being like, why doesn't this bar serve food? Yeah. You should live yeah. here. You'd, you'd I should, yeah. Would, you'd stand out. Yeah, there's a lot of like the, a huge, a lot of Persians here. There's a lot of a Persians lot of here. They once hired me to uh, to do a roast for all the Persians at uh, once. Uh, yeah, they all had book bags. It was on a big awesome. group. They once hired me to uh, roast this doctor guy. It was his birthday, and they never paid me for the gig. Oh wow! Uh, so then every time I think of Persians, I think of those Persians specifically. <laughs> Well, like, I I'm wrote not... jokes for and had to make fun of this doctor douchebag that wasn't laughing at anything, and then they didn't pay me. Because <laughs> he was, was mad at them for having some guy making fun of yeah, him. Yeah, that sounds terrible. Yeah, it was horrendous. Well, I'm not like, I don't know, some people watch like Shaws of Sunset or whatever, and I'm not, I don't really fit in with the like Shaws of Sunset Persian or whatever. Right. And I went, I went to Iran once, and they did not think I was Persian. Oh. Yeah, they thought, I, they knew I was from here. Because I didn't dress right, and I didn't wear makeup. So they were like, you're not really Persian. <laughs> and they uh, also thought I was a prostitute. Oh, really? Yeah. I tried to check into a hotel with my mom, and uh, she kept her maiden name, so we have different last names. And so they like did not believe that I was her daughter, and they thought that she was a madam, and she had kidnapped me uh, to be a prostitute. <laughs> Yeah, I've That's never. Yeah. You're an interesting one. Same I've never. Me and Tony. Yeah, no, I can see that. But I don't know. You guys really look alike to me, personally. You have a funny look. Like I've, I don't think yeah. I've ever seen anybody that looks like both a student and a teacher <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so you pull that off well. Does it? Does she look like she's one of those people that takes off her glasses and undoes her hair and flips it around, and she, she becomes like this crazy <laughs> supermodel with the hair? So what are you saying? That she's not cute now? No, I'm saying I'm, she's adorable. I'm she's all that. I'm yeah. all that. But is that yeah. what happens? Is I'm going to be true? she's all that. Yeah, I'm Rachel Lee Cook, dude. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. I love that. Yeah. No, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, are you asking me, am I hot secretly? Am I secretly hot? No, no, I think it's just secret you're good. I think Brian, I think Brian wants to play music while you let your hair down and take your glasses off. It's real do dirty it. right now. You should do it, come on. I, I have a, would, would anybody be interested in seeing yeah. it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Should I leave my backpack on? That's the real question. Yeah, leave it on. So what do I do? Do I, do I let my hair down? Do it slow do motion it? style. Though. not in a fucking puddle right now. Yeah. Can you, can you turn around and face me for the periscope real quick? I don't know where. I have no idea where you are because I'm not wearing my glasses. It's, oh, that's uh, Brody. 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 To, the right. Right. to the right. To the right. Uh, 1400. That's Brody. Uh, Good Bro stuff, sir. Brody, you, you were much. just, uh, you just did um, some, a magazine cover somewhere overseas, right? Oh yeah, I've done a lot of modeling in ah. Pakistan. Uh, Steve Zissou monthly. I'm uh, cur currently on the cover of Camel Beat. Uh, one of my classic jokes. Sarah. Good job, Sarah. Good, Sarah, good yeah. job tonight. Thank you. Uh, Beverly Hills is a, is a hotbed for Persian activity. <laughs> so is Westwood. Encino. Have it's, you thought about Encino? I have not in years, but I would look into it. Uh, that's where I, my doctor is, Doctor Zaga. My cholesterol's high because I, I stopped taking my Zocor. You said get off the meds. I did. Now my cholesterol's through the roof. There Take you go. Take the Zocor, dude. What's your problem? You What's my problem? Take the Zocor. <laughs> Take well, the Zocor. Well, they told me not to. 
Sorry. <laughs> God, you're getting aggressive with me, Sarah. Say something, see something. Will you guys stop making me look bad? This is why I walked out last time. I'm afraid to be funny because you guys are afraid. I'm from LA, born and raised in Racino. Where the fuck are you from? Wow, yeah, Bruce Steven. Hey, what is you like? Ah. Look at the guy with his arms on cross. Negative energy in the front row. I called it out. I love that. Brody's laying down the law. Sorry, it was so nice to meet Very you. Very nice to meet you. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Hopefully we'll see you in Austin on December 26th. Yeah, if you have a place to stay. Um, put your hands together for our one regular uh, who does a brand new minute every single week. Put your hands together for her. The always inter the, she's the only person that doesn't get pulled out of the bucket because she is the only regular. Her name is Melissa Esslinger, everybody. <laughs> body's really sore because I went to a party last weekend. <laughs> Sounds like I, like, it's not like I partied really hard or anything. I just get so nervous and awkward at parties. Um, it's like when I walk into a room, it's like I'm approaching a social minefield. <laughs> There's not really any mines there, but my brain puts them there. I'm like dodging bullets that don't exist. <laughs> Slow motion seizures. <laughs> um, but it's like any room I go into, like I'd walk into a daycare and like <laughs> feel like that kid Tommy is totally judging me right now. <laughs> Tell by the way he's drooling. Oh, asshole. <laughs> I'd sit down and like play with them and, and then interrupt myself and be like, am I intruding you guys? Like, should I take off? <laughs> Boom, another new minute. Hey. Melissa. Locking it in. Love it. Working beats. Wow. Working beats. Probably the performance of the night. And uh, just being yourself. Talking about being nervous as fuck and sort of crazy. <laughs> Uh, which is what we found out after a couple months of having you do the show every week. That's pretty much what you are. You're pretty much nuts. Uh, I love that, that you're like owning it and talking about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Guys, yeah, you were probably, this is probably your first time seeing Melissa Esling yeah, on the show, right? Great. Yeah. yeah, you did great. You were very funny. Oh, thank you. Nervous energy works for you. Uh -huh. Great. Thanks. Yeah, it's definitely one of a kind. It's good that you're starting to own it and you know, that, what I love about that set is that it wasn't like too jokey. It was like you were just being funny, and uh, which is hugely critical because you can always pepper jokes anywhere around all that other stuff. Um, anything crazy happening in life? Big improvement over last week, by the way. Thank I you. I mean, that was easy to listen to. Last week was very weird. Uh, <laughs> Jeez, still on the attack about last week. No, I mean, it's, it's good to see, week. It's good to see uh, an improvement, because I think you also thought that you had a weird week, and it's good bouncing back from that. How was your set uh, Friday at the Ice House? I didn't get to see it, so I... Well, I shot myself in the foot right off the bat when I got on stage because someone wasn't there that I assumed they knew was supposed to be there that is a better comic than me by miles, so I like started it that way, which was stupid, because immediately I just undermined myself, and then, right. yeah. you know. But I mean, it was all right. You're like a little Lady Richard Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It is true. That's he was ner he had nervous energy yeah. on stage. It fucking made a whole career for him. Yeah. Let's know? check in with our senior, uh... Senior advisor, spiritual, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, Melissa, I like what she was doing. It's kind of in, just in the background on this, but you're, you're, you're good at baseball. Oh, thanks for remembering. Yes, I used to play. <laughs> for those of you yeah. listening to the podcast, you can't see that Brody Stevens is sitting on Lewis Love's lap right now. <laughs> God, Lewis, you are a fucking natural. <laughs> so I always look for little uh, little angles that, that are different about a performer. Thanks. And the fact that Melissa, 
played baseball. She has. You carry a glove in your car, right? I used to. I took it out and I cleaned my car. And well, I forgot I, it. I carry candy in my car. <laughs> <laughs> but she plays catch. That tells me something. Morgan Murphy is is another uh, a, a lady who can play baseball. Yep. That shows me something because uh, this is a tough business. Comedy's yeah. tough, and you're doing it. And uh, we will. We will play catch one day. Yeah. Nice. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah Silverman Can plays you? basketball. Sarah Natasha Silverman. Natasha Leggero does equestrian. <laughs> really? <laughs> is that the horse one? Yeah, yeah. Isn't it like a weird? She horse. She rides horses. She rides horses. She What's the horse. swimming pool one? Where they the swimmers? Water polo. I do, I do track water polo. Water polo. But what I'm saying is, I think the girl baseball thing. Keep that alive. It's Thanks. popular. League of their own. Don't forget that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that nice used place? to be <laughs> my playground? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Melissa, we'll great stuff. Else. You did Thank another you. brand new minute. Thanks anything? So anything else? Uh, I can't think of anything. There you go, Melissa Esslinger, everybody. Melissa Esslinger. Melissa Esslinger. Yeah, come here, Melissa Esslinger. E S L I N G E R. Uh, let's get another one up, shall we? Squeeze uh, another one in here. Hopefully they didn't leave. Put your hands together for Vanessa Johnson. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, I'm dating a fixer upper, and dating a fixer upper sucks. And a fixer upper is anyone who has like different morals and values than you. Like maybe they're a drinker, or they're a cheater, or they're fat. Mine's fat. <laughs> and his idea is like doggy style for a workout. That's our current situation. So we got him a trainer, like a really intense trainer. And the trainer was like, you have to go hard or go home. So he just went home. <laughs> and left. And he does things that drive me crazy. Like he doesn't take the stairs. I don't either, but I feel like he should. <laughs> Is that a minute? 40 seconds. You have 20 seconds left if you want to use it. Um, I'm kind of sick of people saying racial stereotypes instead of individual people. Like, some of the best dancers in the world are white. Some of the best mathematicians in the world are black. Unfortunately for Asians, there are no Asian NASCAR drivers. Yeah, fuck you, Asians. Yeah. As if you haven't had enough, how does it feel coming from a hot chick, huh? Yeah. You fucking loser. Yeah. <laughs> Vanessa, I have never in my entire week, I think we've done 130 some of these episodes of this show. And I've never had anybody on here. When you when you were standing up in front of the stage, your hair was blowing. Right now. Yeah. It's slow motion. Yeah. It's yeah. slow motion. You. I've never physically seen somebody so hot to where literally their hair blows back when they're talking. Incredible. I always assumed that rock stars and shit when that was happening, like that was just air being blown at them. I didn't realize that somebody can actually just make that shit happen. Where's, I didn't hear a single word that you said. But I'll say it right now, set of the night. You know what, Tony? I think you're right. That was such a good set. That's fun. Uh, so Vanessa. Uh, Wow, what what did you uh, talk about again? <laughs> oh my god, Vanessa. I mean, Flickman <laughs> Flickman just shot a load in his hat. Uh, <laughs> On you're you're gorgeous. <laughs> Shocking. You're little, I'm blushing and I shouldn't be. We're at the comedy store. <laughs> I, I just want to say that... Oh, Brody Stevens, spiritual advisor. Uh, I'm going to let you get, get your breath, Brody. I just have two quick points. Okay. One, the, the 40 seconds, less is more. So 40 seconds is good. They pushed you to do that extra joke. 
And I, I thought it was fine because I do a joke like that. I go, I went to, I, Asians cheated off me. I got back at them. I cheated off them. Unfortunately, it was in driver's ed. I do the same kind of jokes. I was there with you on that. And I, uh, uh, also, uh, guys like Chris D'Elia and, uh, you know, <laughs> she's making you nervous. Neil Vaughn and, and, and Kirk Fox. Wow. He's shaking. Well, he's, he's, you know he's, what? He's less, he's, you know what? Those guys are fantasy. I'm reality. <laughs> Holy shit. That is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Good acting, right? Good job. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe that just happened. Wow. That is so fun. Uh, Vanessa, you're, you're hilarious. Um, you should be talking about how hot you are all the time. Do you, do you, do you really have a fat boyfriend? Um, he's an ex-boyfriend. How fat, how fat was he? Um, he <laughs> like this? Let her answer! How fat, how fat, how fat, how fat was he? Yeah, I mean... We're all Melissa like, today. Was, was he like him? I mean, like, bigger. Like, was was bigger? Bigger? it threw me off because yes. the guy that I'm kind of seeing now is in this, like, I saw him right when about, like, right when I was walking up, so it was oh, really weird. Oh my god. Um, yeah, really but, and he's it? not fat. Wow. As, yeah. As? <laughs> Oh, uh, so you, you don't, you don't, yeah, want, you, don't you don't want your current guy to know that you were once with a fat guy. You I don't, don't care. You don't want him to get out of shape. No, I feel like I mean I did it because I was trying to grow as a person. I love that. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. Wow, that's so funny. And I love that lip lick thing that you do afterwards. It's just pure evil. Uh, I love it. Every time she does that, someone buys her a pair of shoes. It's just yeah. Like, <laughs> Just, what, what, what's your Amazon wish, wish list? I don't have. That's like a hooker thing, right? I don't do that. <laughs> I have a job. I can buy my own stuff. What do you do for a living? Um, I work. Well, I worked at HBO for two years. I just left, um, and I just started working at Core Media Group today. They do like American Idol. They buy up IP, so we're gonna develop there. Wow! Look at you. You're like a real professional. You worked at HBO for a while, huh? And then you got in the comedy game, and you're like, fuck you, HBO. <laughs> Even though you're the main network for one-hour specials. Uh, <laughs> I'm in part ways. Yeah, HBO's great. Do you have any, like, Game of Thrones merch or anything like that? Did you get anything cool from working there? I mean, they give you free stuff all the time. Yeah. Huh. But Interesting. I mean, I'm on good terms with them. Like, I have a show. Anything, any, anything, any, anything fun from HBO? Like, for example, uh, they gave Glickman this mob boss hat. That was <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Vanessa, so nice to meet you. Uh, not now. We will. Uh, <laughs> this guy's so loud. Um, Vanessa, nice to Thank meet you. Vanessa you. Johnston, everybody. There she goes. Nice job, Vanessa. Um, I do think. Teach a workshop in the valley. It's a two webcam shoot. Um, <laughs> there you go. For those of you that want to sign up to Brody Stevens' uh, craft, that was show. fun. That was a lot of fun. Brody, thanks for joining us. Stephen Brody Stevens, everybody. There he is. I love the energy in here. Tonight's drawing from Ryan Cheeky. Wow. Look at Oh my god. He's, he's got the hat. He nailed it. Look he at that. A great job. That hat is just as ugly in the picture as it is in real life. That is amazing. You really captured oh captured the ridiculousness of that hat. Oh uh, guys, live audience, I had so much fun with you. Jesus Trejo's at Jesus Trejo. Wait, that's the end of the show? What do you guys want to promote? I thought we were just getting started. Thank you very much, Tony. I had a great time, and I can't wait to be back on Kill Tony in any form. I'm your friend. I God bless Death Squad for life. I love this. Who else? Jesus Trejo, you're on Twitter. What else? I'm on Twitter, uh, Corpus Christi, uh, next weekend, Friday and Saturday, four shows. Love it. Blank, man. Uh, Corpus Christi. I, uh, I, uh, me, I host the tomorrow, the nighttime show at the Lyric Theater once a month. We just did it with Dana Snyder from Aqua Team Hunger Force. I did it. Brody Steve. I played Steve Jobs in the show. It's really Jobs. fun. I recommend it. Love it. it. Austin, it. Texas. Kill Tony. The 26th of December. Here we come, three weeks away. So buy tickets for that immediately. Tell your friends. 
I'm going Ryan, on outlets. RyanJBelt.com for the Prince, Melissa Espinger, and Josh Martin Comics. Thank you, live audience. Good night, everybody. Jamie Vernon. Jamie Vernon. Did you guess? Did you guess? Did you guess? You was right. Still with my niggas and we flexing. Did you guess it? You was right. Did you guess it? Come on, come on, fuck nigga on sight. Did you guess it?